What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sebs, and here I am in my day job shirt. I'm at a conference. I had a few calls. I'm waiting on one to start here, so I wanted to just record a few videos. Don't want to miss um, too many days recording here. So coming in live from Denver, the Brown Palace Hotel. Beautiful. We went out last night and there was weed everywhere. It was insane. So today we're going to check out Montgomery Gentry. We've already checked them out on the channel before. Um, this video was uh, sponsored by Justin. Justin, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for helping support the channel. To all of you who have, thank you. You're enriching my life with the music suggestions y'all send my way and also just helping me, helping keep the lights on. It means the world. So some people change. I um, already love the, 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 the title of the song. I don't think that people just can change. I think we all will, right? So let's see. Uh, let's see what these guys got to say. In a lot of the country music that we've checked out on the channel, a lot of it is just really wise, and I love that. So let's roll it again. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hit like, subscribe, and you can find other ways to help support the channel by visiting some of the links down below. All right. The jam already, bro. His old man was a rebel yeller, bad boy to the bone, he'd say. Came oh, wow. That other feller, he'd judge him by the tone of their skin. Oh, dang, dude, it's about a KKK, dude. He was raised to think like his dad, never mind, full of hate. On the road to nowhere fast, till the grace of God got in the way. Saw the light and hit his knees and cried and said a prayer. Rose up a brand new man, let the old one right there. Here's to the strong, thanks to the brave. Don't give up hope. Some people change. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, okay. I feel like I'm watching the music video to American History X here. One of my favorite uh, people that I've learned about, his name is Daryl Davis, and he has uh, convinced tons of former members of the KKK to leave that and to change their opinions and to let go of uh, their prejudice. And the way he did that is that he listened to them and he loved them. And especially, it is very hard to have love for people who hate others, right? And it's not a guarantee, but uh, the best thing i we maybe can do man is loving them in a way that ch that changes them right so man it's an intense video she was born with her mother's habit you could say it's in her blood oh wow she hates that she's got a habit as she fills her glass up she'd love to kill that bottle but all she can think about is a better life a second chance and everyone she's letting down oh man she throws that bottle down i'm gonna cry bro Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, first off, let's go musically. I love the way that these two guys like perform together. They really like fill each other out. Also, like the main guy who's been singing the, the verses, love that he looks like the Undertaker. Great outfit. We had the the KKK member, now we had the, the drunk mother. My favorite stories are the people who who've changed, who transformed. My biblical hero is uh, is Paul, right? One of my favorite stories is also hearing about Easy Eddie. I think he was Al Capone's lawyer. If you don't know much about Easy Eddie, you should look up his um, his story. But uh, having a son is is something that that softened his heart and changed them. And uh, a big reason why Al Capone was uh, discovered is because of some of the stuff that he did and his uh, during his uh, repentance during his transformation. And you know, keeping the hope that people 
that like as bad as the as uh we all can be at our worst i think something powerful happens when we have the grace uh, to others that hey they they can they can they can overcome this the more that we give that grace to others the more that we believe that for ourselves too like how many times have you and i screwed up and the the guilt kind of just overtakes us we feel like we disappointed ourselves god our family but the more we give grace unto others like we can probably give that to ourselves and gives ourselves a break we're all going to make mistakes I love that they're showing all these different ways of people being broken, but then overcoming. Oh, let's go! What a layer, bro. What a great layer. Oh, man. Dude, I'm telling you, bro, like, I know I'm speaking in uh, generalities here, but so much of the country music that we've checked out, man. Oh, wait. Beautiful. That's cool. Cool. But so much of it is so positive, man. It's a hopeful message. I think a lot of the things that some people can be doing, yeah, we may have some disgust for it. And a lot of times the, per, the the behaviors and the belief systems maybe are just, I guess, disgusting, right? But who am I to judge someone? At my worst, I'm a I was a horrible person. I still tap into that horrible person at times, right? We all do. But dude, our culture, we've just don't, we, we've stopped forgiving people or at least like expressing hope that we believe in, like that we trust and believe in who people can become. What a great song. What a great reminder. Dude, Justin, thank you so much for sponsoring this and, and pointing that song to my attention, man. That's beautiful. What are y'all's thoughts? Please comment down below. Anxious to hear. Um, as always, hit like, subscribe, and again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Your time is so precious and valuable. So if you spent it hanging out with me, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Thanks, guys. Till the next one. Peace.